Hi, I'm your host, Sarah Previs. We've just been talking about the storefront feature. If this is something that you don't see is available to you yet, try updating your app and see if it comes through then. Otherwise, I'm gonna recommend that you contact customer care. There's a little help button that you can reach out to them directly by accessing the menu from your profile and you can reach out to them. Let them know that you do not have the storefront feature, you can't figure it out, and someone will definitely be able to assist you with that because you should all be able to have access to that feature. Now, for anyone that's tuning in right now, looking for trivia, you are in the right place. It's starting in about 15 minutes for playing for $500, but you might wanna stick around right now because I'm about to give you the answer to question eight. Now, here's how we do this. All right, there's 10 sec there's 10 seconds. There's there are 10 seconds typically to answer each question. If you've been here before, you know that there's 10 questions. Well, we kind of give you a leg up if you tune in early. So, we're going to give you the question. We're going to see how you do on your own, and then I'm going to reveal the answer. This is not for any money. This is just sort of a practice question to give you the answer and reward you for tuning in a little bit early. So, let's see how you do with tonight's question eight and you'll all be that much closer and then you can use your winnings to buy something for Black Friday or Cyber Monday or maybe something from somebody's storefront. So question eight tonight. Y'all are usually pretty good at this and you get it on your own. Let's see if that's the case. This reality show has resulted in more documented marriages than The Bachelor. The Great, the great British Bake Off, America's Next Top Model, The Biggest Loser. This reality show has resulted in more documented marriages than The Bachelor. Which one is it? Do we have any reality show fanatics in our chat today? You'll have to let me know after the poll is done. Um, the great, none of these seem like they would result in uh, love, right? I mean, I guess I could fall in love over some sweets and baking, and I guess models are pretty beautiful and um, maybe there's love on set there and then the biggest loser so I don't know which one is it let's see hmm am I swaying the answers here am I manipulating the outcome of this it doesn't seem like you need any of my help or my swaying because 42% of you are saying the biggest loser and the biggest loser it is you're all winners you're not loser that's that's correct the biggest loser do you guys know the Bachelor has only resulted in one documented marriage. Now the spin-offs, they resulted in a, a few others, but one documented marriage from all of those seasons of The Bachelor. That's crazy. More people are finding love on The Biggest Loser. So if you're looking for love, go on The Biggest Loser. That is, that is, that's your takeaway from tonight. I mean, that's a pretty good one. So bravo. Jenny girl knew it. Yay, Jenny girl. Good job. So yeah. You have the answer to question eight now. You're that much closer to $500, and you just learned something about The Bachelor that, I don't know, I didn't know before this question. I knew that they didn't have a great track record, but I didn't know it was that bad. Okay, in a minute, we're going to be highlighting some people who are doing great work here on display. These are my favorite storefronts that I've been able to find in 24 hours, because Kathy Davis, Kathy Davis gave us, <laughs> I can't speak tonight. Kathy Davis gave us, come on, can we just say that together? Okay, Kathy Davis gave us, thank you, I felt that, okay. Kathy Davis gave us, thank you, Jazz. Okay, that was hard. I need, I need to get it out of the way now because I have a whole bunch of trivia questions to get through later, and if I can't speak now, it's definitely gonna get a lot harder. Okay, Kathy Davis gave us, <laughs> the idea to show up some storefronts tonight. We're gonna to be doing that when we come back. If you're just coming in now, trivia is starting in about 10 minutes. We just gave away the answer to question eight. We do this every single night. We get goofy, we hang out, we give out display tips for you all to make money on this app because that's what this app is for. You get paid to post, it's not just trivia. That is one way to make money. There's plenty of other ways to make money, but folks, we'll be right back with the featured storefronts. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Display Trivia. I just want to do a quick check-in. How are we? Are we hanging in there? Yes. I know the holidays are starting to rev up in full force, but it's been four days since Adele's new album, 30, 
hit virtual shelves everywhere. And can I be honest? I'm not okay. I'm not, no. Just when I think I've neatly wrapped up my most recent heartbreak or finally come to terms with that traumatic thing that happened to me in Miss Parsons' first grade class, well, there she has to go and rip all those wounds wide open. Adele, why are you doing me dirty, queen? Yes, I, I peed myself in front of the whole class during show and tell. Okay, I was over it. I mean, or so I thought. <sighs> no, what Adele is doing is helping us to heal and feel. And I think it's time I lay down some ground rules for this game. This game. So that you all don't have to feel around in the dark too much to know what's going on. So you're going to have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you're holding your phones vertically so that when the questions pop up on your screen, you can pick the right one. And make sure to choose carefully because once you tap, there's no going back. Once you win, that money shows up in your display bank if you are active in the app and have a completed profile. All right. Are you hoping that I go easy on you display bees? What? <gasps> Are you though? You got your tissues ready? Cause it's time for display trivia. Question one. Of the following, what does the E in email most commonly stand for? Electronic, egg, Earl Grey tea. Of the following, what does the E in email most commonly stand for? Electronic, egg, Earl Grey tea. I have some thoughts about email. I mean, it's a great way to pretend to be busy. Does anyone else feel like anyone who works an office job just answers emails all day? Personally, I don't believe anyone who works in an office actually does anything other than email. There's the opening, the reading, the replying, the forwarding, the CCing, the BCCing, the archiving, the labeling, and the deleting. I would bet that there's a lot of people in offices right now with really fancy titles who can't do anything but send and receive electronic mail. Let's hurry up with this game because I need to clean out my spam folder. Question two. In the classic children's song, the titular wheels on the bus do what all through the town? Go up and down, go round and round, go down and around. In the classic children's song, the titular wheels on the bus do what all through the town? Go up and down, go round and round, go down and around. Okay, this song is essentially a three camera sitcom for toddlers. It's basically the show Cheers for infants. The same characters always show up, same place, same time, almost the same outfit as the one they always wear. But what kind of shenanigans will they get themselves into today? Is baby on the bus gonna go wah, wah, wah? Will mama on the bus go shh, shh, shh? Will the driver on the bus say get on back? I mean, who's to say? But one thing I do know, hilarity will ensue while the wheels on the bus go round and round. Question three. In the 1989 Nora Ephron film, Harry met which love interest? Sophie, Sally, Sandy. In the 1989 Nora Ephron film, Harry met which love interest? Sophie, Sally, Sandy. Um, spoiler alert. Look. This movie is a rom-com, so no matter how much the main characters hate each other at the beginning of the movie, we know that by the end, they're going to fall in love. She could be about to burn him alive at the stake. He might have just found out that she killed his mother. It doesn't matter. If it's a rom-com, they will have to work it out. These are the rules. All movie genres have them. If it's a slasher film, only one person can live. If it's a thriller, the main character was dead the whole time. Are you catching on? When Harry meets Sally, they don't get along, but by the end, Happily ever after. Question four. All of the following breakfast cereals currently have mammalian mascots except Frosted f Flakes, <laughs> Fruit Loops, Strix. All of the following breakfast cereals currently have mammalian mascots except Frosted Flakes, Fruit Loops, Trix. Is it just me or are mammals the sexiest category in the animal kingdom? I mean, come on. Look at that snow leopard, her fur. She knows she's got it. A lobster could never. You know, I hear her cousin's a cougar. Also, mammals are the most emotionally intelligent, which means they want to cuddle. Oh yeah. Whew, is it getting hot in here or is it just uh, my hypothalamus regulating my body temperature? Yeah, girl's a mammal. Tony the tiger reps 
the more than good Frosted Flakes, and Trix's spokesman is that furry little rabbit. Toucan Sam, however, with a beak that big, he's gotta be a bird. Question five. Which band backed up the rocker famous for songs like Free Fallen and I Won't Back Down? The Heartbreakers, The Wailers, The E Street Band. Which band backed up the rocker famous for songs like Free Fallen and I Won't Back Down? The Heartbreakers, The Wailers, The E Street Band. All of these are real backup band names, but only one of them backed up this particular singer. Backup bands should definitely get more credit. Backup bands are the greatest. In fact, can we get one for me in trivia? I mean, that'd be amazing. It's like a built-in support system, a whole team that never leaves you out there on your own, always getting your back. And then of course, if you're having a really bad set, it's easy to just be like, oh yeah, my band was super off tonight, but anyone want an autograph? But with his backup band, The Heartbreakers, American rocker Tom Petty never missed a beat. Question six. Which of the following is not a type of knot? Bowline, hitch, sloop. Which of the following is not a type of knot? Bowline, hitch, sloop. The only kind of knot I'm worried about right now is the one in my shoulder. Can anyone? Oh, I can't reach. Well, whatever, forget it. I'll rub up against a corner in my apartment when I get home. And yes, I know I'll look like a bear grumpily coming out of hibernation. Don't judge, it feels great, okay? Unless, of course, I can find one of those pressure point massagers. You know the ones, right? That look like a candy cane and a Swiss Army knife had a baby. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Any Boy Scouts in the game tonight will tell you a bowline or a hitch is a very, I mean, probably very useful type of knot. But a sloop? That's boat. Question seven. Which of the following pastries is incorrectly matched to its country of origin? Crapfen, Sweden. Bombaloni, Italy. Financier, France. Which of the following pastries is incorrectly matched to its country of origin? Crapfen, Sweden. Bombaloni, Italy. Financier, France. Look, a name is a name. It's just a name. You can call a pastry whatever you want. I only have one word for pastry, and it's this. A gimme. But Sarah, we're at dinner in between the appetizer and the main course. You can't just eat a raspberry danish. Did I stutter? No, I did not. And rarely do I when ordering jelly-filled donuts or cream puffs. If there's one thing that I am sure of in this life, it is one dozen glazed, please. And speaking of donuts, do not pick the wrong answer. Did you get it? Bomboloni is an Italian jelly-filled donut and a financier is French. But a Kraffen, although it sounds iffy, is a German donut, not Swedish. Question eight. This reality show has resulted in more documented marriages than The Bachelor, the great British Bake Off, America's Next Top Model, The Biggest Loser. This reality show has resulted in more documented marriages than The Bachelor, the great British Bake Off, America's Next Top Model, The Biggest Loser. The Bachelor, for the record, has resulted in, drum roll please, one marriage. Yeah, only one marriage from The Bachelor. Few others from the spinoffs, but so, so, so many kidnappings. Can I steal you for a sec? No, you may not, woman, unhand me. Also, while we're on the subject, asking if you can steal someone, very polite, but like definitely defeats the purpose. Not that I encourage snatching, but a sneak attack is probably more effective. Even though contestants on The Biggest Loser were there to shed some pounds, at least five different couples ended up gaining the loves of their lives in the process. Biggest Loser? No, they are winning. Question nine. Caveat emptor is a phrase you would most likely see in what context? Scientific study, sales, medical re records. Caveat emptor is a phrase you would most likely see in what context? Scientific study, sales, medical records. Why are we still throwing Latin phrases into everyday speech? Like who is that for? I don't know anyone who speaks Latin. Are you just trying to be an agent of chaos? Personally, I think this is just a way for know-it-alls to gatekeep speech. You think it's okay to keep using language only studied by bored rich people, ergo ipso facto, you are pretentious. Case closed. I think we know who just won that debate. Look, people who don't know Latin can be smart too. The only Latin that I want is some more Christina Aguilera at the Latin Grammys, 
But until then, it's probably good to know that caveat emptor means buyer beware. Can't just say that in English. It's time for the final question. Question 10. Before widespread electricity, this chemical compound was used to light stages. Calcium oxide, sodium bicarbonate, ammonia. Before widespread electricity, this chemical compound was used to light stages. Calcium oxide, sodium bicarbonate, ammonia. Of course we need to ask about chemistry in the theater. How is a scene supposed to move me if the two love interests have no chemistry? Acting is reacting, and we can't have reactions without chemical compounds. Of course, we also need a way to light the stage, or it doesn't matter what the actors do, they're just doing it in the dark. A love scene with no lights on? I mean, that is just a sleazy high school party while the parents are out of town. No thanks, I'm good. These lights that were used before electric lighting was made available burned a chemical compound commonly referred to as lime. No, not the little green citrus roots. Calcium oxide. These very hot and very bright lights are where we get the phrase that's still very much in use today, the limelight. And speaking of limelight, let's shout out tonight's winners. They deserve a standing O. Yes, you did it. You came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge, and you'll get paid if you are actively using the app and have your profile completed. That's all for tonight, folks. I will see you in the pre-show tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern, or you might just get a leg up on the competition with a free practice question and actual answer from yours truly. Good night, everyone.